This is a list of the best entry-level jobs in cybersecurity. So this will be in addition to the video I made earlier this year on the top entry-level jobs in cybersecurity and hopefully can give you an idea of all the possible entry-level cybersecurity jobs out there when you're graduating from your cybersecurity bootcamp or from a degree program. The first job on this list is a cyber defense analyst. The average salary for a cyber defense analyst on Classdoor is about $82,000 per year. So typically for many entry level roles, you do start out at the analyst level as a security analyst, but there are specific sectors out there that have more niche roles. For example, as a cybersecurity defense analyst, you would likely be working for government agencies or government affiliated companies or defense contractors. For example, this specific job listing that I found for a cybersecurity defense analyst states that part of your job will be performing cyber threat intelligence analysts, correlate actionable security events, perform network traffic analysis using raw packet data, IDS and IPS, as well as custom sensor output pertaining to the cybersecurity of communication networks, as well as participating in incident response efforts. You'll work with cybersecurity experts on threat protection and proactive prevention. So I've mentioned this before in my previous videos, but, but the actual day-to-day -day responsibilities and the job of a security analyst is going to really vary depending on the company that you go into. So for a role like this, where a company is explicitly telling you that, hey, you're going to be working as a security analyst but you're going to be focusing on the defense side that is definitely a key piece of information to help you apply to different roles that may be more aligned or correlated with your interests this role definitely sounds like it's more so on the blue team and it also sounds like you'll get a lot of hands-on experience using ids and ips as well as packet sniffing technologies so if you're someone who's interested in a cybersecurity role that is, that is more so on the blue team side or the defensive side of cybersecurity as well as having a focus on the network security side then i would definitely consider a role like a cybersecurity defense analyst and for those of you who haven't heard i just released my first cybersecurity course on how to get your first job in cybersecurity Security. This is for anyone who's currently on the job market who is looking for that first job out of college or out of a boot camp, or maybe you're in another field and are looking to switch into cybersecurity. The course includes 10 video modules as well as all of my cybersecurity career resources. And right now we're doing 25% off the entire course. So it definitely mean the world to me if you guys checked it out and even provide feedback. The course itself is linked in the description below. And thank you guys so much in advance for your support. The next role on this list is a cybersecurity consultant. The average salary for a cybersecurity consultant in the US based on Classdoor is about $81,000 per year. And based on this job description of what a cybersecurity consultant does, a few job responsibilities include translating security requirements into the design and deployment of security solutions in an agile environment, as well as minimizing revenue and resource loss after or during security incidents. A few key skills and qualifications that companies are looking for are the ability to apply logic to solve problems, handling multiple tasks concurrently and meeting deadlines, knowledge of computer operating systems, computer networking protocols, having basic to moderate programming skills, knowledge or experience in some aspects aspect of incident response planning, consulting, or a related field, as well as experience in one of the following domains for incident response, digital forensics, tabletop exercises, threat hunting, or cloud platforms. I'm sure you guys have noticed a common recurring theme that many cybersecurity roles out there, whether they're experienced or entry level, are probably going to look for some form of experience with incident response. Just because as part of a cybersecurity team, you never know when you're gonna get dragged into an incident. And that kind of experience, even if it's just a tabletop exercise that you might do in school or, or maybe in a previous internship or, or even just seeing walkthroughs online, it can really give you a good idea of what to expect on the job so if you're interested in a role like this, I would definitely check out some resources on tabletop exercises for anyone who is interested in going into the blue team. The next role on this list is a systems analyst. A systems analyst makes on average about $88,000 per year based on averages from Glassdoor. And by the way, many of the job descriptions of the example roles that I found for this video were found on the Google Jobs portal. So in case any of you guys are actually interested in these roles, but as a systems analyst, your job is to perform security analysis of classified and unclassified ap applications and systems for compliance with security requirements. You'll also be performing ICS, SCADA, IT and OT, cybersecurity vulnerability evaluations, analyze and define security requirements for ICS and SCADA, and apologies in advance if I'm pronouncing SCADA slash SCADA wrong. As you can tell, I'm definitely not from the systems analyst space. 
including mainframes, workstations, personal computers, and recommending solutions to meet security requirements. Another part of your job is gathering and organizing technical information for an organization, as well as making recommendations to improve the existing security posture. So again, since systems analyst roles are going to be very broad across the board, this one specifically that we're reviewing is definitely more so around the information security auditing space. So if you're someone who is interested in auditing, not everything in auditing is checking against compliance. A lot of auditing is also doing a pen test for a client, for example. Typically, even if companies have their own internal cybersecurity or pen testing team, they may still want some kind of external pen test or external auditor coming in to perform a pen test or red team assessment on their application to prove that there's no bias and be able to then be able to share that pen test report with other potential customers that may want to know that information and also know that a third party entity or someone that is not their internal team sign off on that and show that, hey, these are the findings that we found. And if there were any big findings, then they are remediated or currently under remediation. But of course, a systems analyst in a typical company that isn't working in the auditing space may be more so doing things that are on the blue team or maybe they're on the information technology side, maintaining certain systems, maintaining certain processes or applications or servers or any other technical assets that the company has. This role itself is also looking for experience with Linux operating systems, Linux servers, Linux databases. So obviously Linux is definitely very popular I know many of us, especially if you grew up in my generation, don't have the most experience with Linux. Maybe you've used it a little bit. The most I used it in college was using Ubuntu for a digital forensics class. But for the most part, I, I was mostly on Windows or Mac. So most people probably have experience with Windows or Unix or probably more familiar with the Mac OS. But once you're working in a corporate environment, a lot of important things running on important servers do happen to be Linux servers. So I would definitely spend some time getting familiar with the Linux command line, with the different tools that live on it, with the differences between a Linux operating system versus a Windows operating system versus if you're using a Mac. And of course, one of the most popular cybersecurity Linux distributions out there is Kali Linux. So it really is just a win-win for anyone who is interested in learning Linux or have heard of it before but haven't really dug into it. You'll definitely find it to be very useful if you're able to learn those skills now in your early career and kind of see where it can take you. The next role on this list is a security sales engineer. A security sales engineer makes on average about $91,000 per year based on average salaries from Glassdoor. So I believe I've talked about sales engineers before on, on one of my videos. I think the top tech jobs that don't require coding, but specifically a security sales engineer is a sales engineer, but, but one that primarily focuses on the cybersecurity aspect of an application or of the product that you're trying to sell. You'll definitely find sales engineers and companies that have some kind of SaaS, some kind of SaaS application or product that they're trying to sell to other customers or clients. But typically those customers are going to want to know how secure your application is or whatever the product that you're trying to sell them. And they may ask security questions or maybe some kind of security review process. They may ask for certain documentation or certain answers, or they may have their own specific process to evaluate vendors based on their security criteria. So all that is going to need someone on the cybersecurity side that knows a lot about the product but also knows the ins and outs of the product from a cybersecurity perspective and they'll typically work hand in hand with a typical sales engineer or directly with a member from the sales team as a security sales engineer some of your responsibilities include getting a grasp on the company's offerings and their products as well as the market that it operates within in order to have valuable conversations regarding the business with other potential customers developing and creating strategies for resourcing and general growth of the customer slash clientele base identifying find new opportunities leveraging an existing network of talent and brands, building and maintaining strong relationships with key decision makers in various different potential customers and various different potential prospects, which are essentially just other companies if you're a B2B or if you're B2C, then, then your customers are going to be primarily individuals. So like I mentioned in my previous video where I talked about sales engineers, since they are on the sales side, there's definitely going to be a relatively big part of your compensation that is based on the actual sales volume more sales revenue so I would definitely keep that in mind and the last rule I wanted to cover on this list is a junior security engineer a junior security engineer makes on average about $82,000 per year based on salaries from Glassdoor 
Based on this specific job listing for a junior cybersecurity engineer, some of your responsibilities include actively participating in design engagement reviews for enterprise environments and capabilities, the design decisions, technical control implementations, and risk mitigation measures are used to set the foundation for the company's cybersecurity posture, enhancing, documenting, and moderating this process, working alongside security architects and engineers to ensure reviews are comprehensive and repeatable, working with other cybersecurity organizations outside of the engineering team, including governance, risk, compliance, and operations to ensure that they meet project expectations. Another part of your job is going to be tracking project statuses, organizing meetings with different stakeholders, as well as providing input into process enhancements and other duties. Some of the key qualifications for this role are having an understanding of basic cybersecurity threats and popular attack vectors such as phishing, ransomware, and social engineering, experience with cloud hosting environments like AWS, Azure, or Google. Google Cloud, a basic understanding of remote access, the OSI model, and TCP IP networking principles and protocols. Other potential skills and qualifications include a basic knowledge of Linux or Mac operating systems, as well as mobile operating systems like iOS and Android, as well as experience with scripting tools like Python, JavaScript, C, Go, and Rust. So out of all the roles that we've covered in this list so far, I do think that a cybersecurity engineer is definitely one of the most in-depth technical roles that you can get, especially as an entry-level professional. So if you're someone who is looking to get into that technical side of cybersecurity, I would definitely go for a security engineering or junior security engineering role. As you can see, they do tend to have a longer laundry list of potential skills and qualifications and even, and even certifications and clearances, even for the entry-level or junior security engineering roles. So I would definitely keep that in mind. You definitely want to have those good technical chops so that you're able to go in there and pass your interviews first of all, as well as able to learn hands-on technical skills on the job. All right, so that's it for this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. Don't forget to check out part one of the series, which is the first list I've made for the top entry-level roles in cybersecurity. Let me know in the comments if there's any roles I missed and hopefully it can help someone out who is currently looking for that first job in cybersecurity. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications. I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.